सपने जो माँ मा? अम्मा देख आज मुझे कचरे में क्या मिला अल्लाह दिन का चिराग मिला है क्या अरे नहीं अम्मा ये देख ये क्या है गंदे कपड़े अरे नहीं माँ ये स्कूल की ड्रेस है सब बच्चे स्कूल यही कपड़े पहन के जाते हैं अच्छा हाँ अम्मा अब मैं भी दूसरे बच्चों जैसे स्कूल जाके पढ़ पाऊंगी और फिर ना मैं बड़े होकर बहुत सारा पैसा कमाऊंगी और तुझे एक बहुत बड़े घर में रखू Poverty in terms of economic state or condition in which a person or community lacks the financial resources and essential for a minimum standard of living due to unemployment or the income level from employment being so low that basic human needs can be met. In the past two or three years until today, unemployment and crime are quite rising issues in Malaysia. According to the Department of Statistics Malaysia official portal, Malaysia's crime rate in terms of robbery is 55.2% in 2020 and unemployment rate in January 2022 stood at 4.2%. One of the factors that influence unemployment rate and crime rates in Malaysia is lack of education. One of the issues related to lack of education is crime. Everyone has known that the crimes that take place in Malaysia never stop regardless of age or gender. The impact of the COVID-19 pandemic has dramatically affected world education. Students are forced to earn money to survive during the COVID-19. For example, students are involved in the kid economy. This will worsen an already unfair environment resulting in a rise in school dropouts and crime rates. The COVID-19 pandemic will increase poverty resulted in to increment dropout rates among poor students. Not only during the pandemic, but even before the pandemic, there were also families who could not afford to send their children to school to study. This is because they do not have enough money to pay for their child's education. When someone lacks education, they will be easily prone to committing crimes such as theft, assault, fraud, and others. Lack of education causes a person to have no morals or pure values in themselves. Therefore, one does to commit a crime without feeling worried about the impact it has on the environment. Next issue is lack of education causes unemployment. Most jobs nowadays are based on the qualifications or skills someone can offer to the organization. One of the main factors of unemployment is lack of education. According to UNESCO 2009, as cited in the Journal of Poverty and Student Performance in Malaysia, there is widespread agreement that the education of children is one of the most important drivers of economic progress. Generally, the expense of education is paid not just by the government, but also by their parents. The fee that they paid either indirectly through the taxes or directly through personal spending to support day-to-day -day educational activities. Parents must face a lot of expenses in order to educate their children. Examples of expenses that they need to pay are school fees, uniforms, books and other expenditures. Poor family conditions forces them to seek earnings to make ends meet instead of spending money on education. This causes poor families with many children to be unable to accommodate their children's learning. If a person lacks education, it will make the person unable to get the job they dream of and it will cause the unemployment rate to rise. One of the role of government is to offer different options of education. One of the options is technical and vocational education training, TVET. Education plays an important role in reducing crimes and reducing the unemployment rate. As stated in the impact of education on crime, international evidence, the paper quoted Lochner 2004, in which he emphasized the role of education as a human capital investment that increases future legitimate work opportunities, which discourages participation in crime. Datuk Sri Ismail Sabri Yaakob stated in a meeting with Tivet uh, that the government has allocated 6.6 billion ringgit in Asia in 2022 to empower Tivet. For students who are less inclined in academics but prefer hands-on, Tivet is especially perfect for the student to continue their studies in the area they prefer. Chief Technical Advisor of the ILO UK Skills for Prosperity, Prosperity Program in Malaysia cited data from the Higher Education Ministry to show that Tivet and skills training graduates had better chances of finding unemployment 
of finding employment than those with higher education degrees, with the issue of employability among graduates. The 2019 statistics show that polytechnic graduates had the highest percentage of employment at 81.2%, followed by graduates of vocational college at 76.7%, community, community college at 74.4%, and those from other public skills training institution at between 57.1% and 71.4% compared with 62.8% for those from tertiary education institutions. The another role of government is the Early School Aid ESA. The Early School Aid program was implemented in January 2022 and involves students who will be entering year 2 in the coming 2022-2023 school year up until from 5 students. According to the STARS, the aid will be distributed to students who will be entering year 1 in the 2022-2023 academic year after their school's registration process is complete. Those in year 1 until form 4 in the current 2021-2022 academic year who are from household with an income of 3000 and less will be eligible to receive the aid. As part of Budget 2022, Finance Minister Tengku Datuk Sri Zafrul Tengku Abdul Aziz stated that a total of 450 million had been allocated for the ESA program for a total of 3 million students and each student will receive 150 ringgit. This program is to alleviate the financial burden of parents or guardians in the early preparation for school. Lastly, the Poor Students Provident Trust Fund KWAPM. According to the Ministry of Education Leisure MOE, poverty is the main cause of school dropouts. To address this issue, the Ministry of Education Malaysia created the Compulsory Education Policy which came into effect in January 2003 under Section 29A of the Education Act 1996 which require parents to bring their children to school starting in primary schools. One of the main goals of KWAPM assistance is to offer assistance to underprivileged Malaysian students in government school or government assistance for all race and religions in hope of preventing dropout, improving academic success and generating holistic student access. Lack of education can lead to unemployment. It is because education can change a person's life in a blink of an eye and it is a necessary foundation for every individual. Markets are unable to create new job opportunities owing to a variety of circumstances including a lack of money and financial challenges. So one of the challenges to let is to lessen the gap between the poor and non-poor. The educational performance of Bumi Putra and rural students who are critical to the economy were much lower than those of urban and non Bumi Putra pupils. This is because the student can't afford to pay for a professional certificate to further in some fields such as engineering, chartered accountant, and in managerial. So, result from that, there is an academic gap between these two sectors. And if policymakers turn a blind eye to injustice and fail to be promising solutions, fragmentation and factionalism will be unavoidable and ethnic conflict will worsen. As a result, the apparent gap between the poor and the non poor will expand. Second challenge is parental inability to provide subsistence. As for the past two years, we all acknowledge that the COVID 19 outbreak happened. Many had suffered from the outbreak, causing them to be unemployed and most certain that the parents who lack education tend to lose their job and had no chances to have a proper job. As a result, they could not afford to buy clothes for their children and tend to do crime for the sake of money. In addition, despite the introduction of subsidies in public schools by the government, other requirement provisions and liberals expected of parents for their children to join school cost about three times the average monthly income. Parents are still expected to meet the cost of their children's school uniform, food, transport and other subsistence, most of which are beyond the means of many parents in the rural and poor urban areas. Consequently, poor parents keep their children at home till they have the money to afford school because they cannot meet their needs either. As a result, the government must provide subsistence and other necessities for children from severely impoverished households in order to keep them in school. 
Another challenge is that the public has to face to curb crime is high cost of living and in individual will engage in criminal activities because of their inability to maintain a particular level of living as a consequences of inflation and employment. Inflation causes the purchasing power to reduce while increasing the cost of living. As a result, the crime rate may increase because an individual is unable to maintain its his or her standard of living as before. So crime rates rises and inflation rate rises. Because of the lag between price and wage adjustment, inflation lowers the real income of low skilled labour but rewards property criminals due to the rising demand and subsequent high profits in the illegal market. So inflation destroys the confidence in the existing institutions arrangement, resulting in a loss of social control and erodes uh, the economic ability of communities to maintain real leverage for deterrence. So Chung Wee Watanan in the paper of inflation and incidence of crime in the United States found that inflation rate in the United States was positively correlated with crime rate, particularly for property, property, robbery and violent crime rate. Though high cost of living may not be the only reason for crime, but it is but it contributes to the rise of crime during the period of inflation. When there is an issue or problem that arises, there are definitely suggestions that need to be put forward to solve this problem. So, there are some suggestions from this study to solve the effect of lack of education that leads to unemployment and crime. So, the first suggestion is support for children from difficult family condition. Children from poor family often do not have access to proper education since it is simply too expensive for their family to send them to school. A recent UNICEF survey also showed there were a large proportion of families who reported having difficulty meeting the costs associated with attending school, especially female-headed households. These children also often have to work instead of attending school since they have to contribute to their family income. Um, this struggle that they face from earning money at young age can expose them to the mental health issue. This study uh, suggests that the Ministry of Education can urge the school authorities to utilize the usage of school counseling for these struggling students. Counseling teacher can offer a counseling session to the student to understand their condition in which they are living and support their mental health. Moreover, from a financial perspective, organization such as Teach for Malaysia TFM can create a donation or fund for certain students from these poor families. This fund can be used for paying the school fees, uniforms, books and others. This financial support can help ease the burden of this poor student. When they receive uh, this kind of support, they do not need to work to earn their own income and they can attend school to receive higher education. So the problem of lack of education can be solved. These children are very poor. I thought that these children should be given proper education. The next suggestion is raise awareness of the importance of education. Many people might not be aware of what lack of education really means for their children. Parents may believe that a basic education taught at home is sufficient to succeed in life since they do not know better. When the children receive and have access to all level of education, they might have high chances to be employed. When they are employed, they are less prone to commit crime. Through education, people can improve their knowledge to promote the quality of life. So the campaign can be helped to spread awareness regarding the importance of education. This campaign is important to acknowledge the importance of education, especially for the parents from the poor families. With education, many social issues can be curbed and avoided. For example, the issue of crime and unemployment. For example, the Teach for Malaysia organization can hold a campaign to raise awareness of the importance of this education in Malaysia. The campaign can be held at school or community center and it can be attended by everyone including the parents, students, teachers and local authorities. 
third suggestion is to raise kindness among children about poverty and be kind to others. Children at 7 to 6 years old should be told by their child parents about poor people and what they can do if they have friends that come from poor family background. They also should be told about the kindness they, they should do to people around them. From the lessons that have been applied since childhood, children will be more aware about their circle condition. Students from poor family backgrounds are mostly ashamed of to seek help from teachers and school themselves. They prefer to be quiet about their issues and they even choose to be absent from school because they are ashamed of wearing shabby school shoes and, be and shabby school uniforms. Hence, classmates they are aware of their friends' condition of being uncomfortable to come to school or saying them with something shabby, they could show their concern by investigating and asking them about and asking their friends' problems since students are usually more open to their friends than the teachers. From the information they got, they could tell their family about their friends' shabby uniform and inadequate school equipment. Thus, parents that have stable jobs could write funds for poor students and spread it to their colleagues. Besides, parents also could suggest raising funds for poor parents in PIBG groups or other parents' groups. As a conclusion, education is very important to the community and country. Without getting education, people could be unemployed since almost everything nowadays need an education certificate to be hired. And to make it worse, they could be involved in doing crime if they are unemployed in long term. And, con and this will contribute to the unemployment rate and crime rate in Malaysia.